Hi everyone, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Uh, from this video, we are going to learn about problem solving through C. Let's get into the slide. First, we are going to discuss about basics of a computer. Electronic computers then and now. First electronic computer was built in the late 1930s by Dr. John Atterstoffer and Clifford Berry at Iowa State University. And first electronic digital computer called INAS was completed in the year of 1946 at University of Peninsula with the fund of fund from U.S. Army. The early computer uses vacuum tube as a basic electronic component. Nowadays, technologies was developed and we are using microprocessor chip. Next, we are going to discuss about computer hardware. A computer hardware includes a physical parts of a computers like main memory, secondary memory, RAM, ROM, flash memories, input devices and output devices. In this, we are going to first discuss about memories. There are memories that are uh, classified into main memory, secondary memory, which used as a storage devices. Other than that of CD, DVD, flash drive, pen drives are used to store your data. So next we are going to discuss about CPU. A CPU is a central processing unit. It's a brain of our computer. Next we are going to discuss about input devices. Input devices such as keyboard, mouse, touch pad, scanner, joystick, webcam. These are the input devices of a computer. Next we are going to discuss about output devices. So output devices are like monitor, printer, speaker, headphone, projector. These are the common output devices of a computer. Next we are going to discuss about a computer network. A computer network classified into three types. One is LAN, MAN and WAN. Here first we are going to discuss about LAN. A local area network is called as LAN. It's a collection of devices connected together in one physical location such as building, office or home. Next we are going to discuss about MAN. A metropolitan area network is known as MAN. This is a computer network that connects a computer within a metropolitan area which could be a single large city, a multiple city and town or, or any given large area with the multiple buildings. Next we are going to discuss about WAN. A wide area network is known as WAN. It is the technology that connects your office, data center, cloud application, cloud storage together. Next we are going to see about computer software. A software is a set of instruction, a data or a program used to operate computers and uh, execute specific tasks. Uh, two types of software are there. First one is application software and next one is system software. Uh, application software are also, also called as end user program. Example Microsoft Office. Next we are going to see about system software. A system software is a type of a computer program. It provides a platform to run computer hardware and computer application to utilize system, res system resources and solve a computation problem. Example operating system. Next we are going to see about C. History of C. A C is a robust language and has rich set of built-in function, data types and operator which can be used to write any complex program. A program written in the C are a efficient due to availability of several data types and operator. C has the capability of an assembly language with the future of high-level high languages so it is well uh, suited for a writing writing both, uh, both system software and application software. A C is a highly portable languages. We can, try, uh, we can move one, uh, one source to another source. C supports a lower, uh, lower level features like bit level programming and um, directly access from the memory using pointers which are very useful for managing your resource efficiently. C has a high level constructor and use it to move um, syntaxes approx to the 
English English like a language. Next we are going to see about C tokens. C tokens are classified into six types. They are keyword, identifier, constant, strings, special symbols and operators. A token is, is known as a smallest individual unit of a program is called tokens. Here first we are going to discuss about keywords. Keywords are the reserved words which cannot be used as a identifier name. Example for keywords are auto, if, if else, for, why, do why, scan of, print of and etc. Next we are going to see about identifiers. A name given to identify variables, functions and array are the example for the identifiers. There is a rules for constructing identifier in the C. A first one is first character should be an alphabet or underscore. Succeeding character might be a digits or a letter. A punctuation and a special character are not allowed to expert underscore. Identifier should be not be uh, should not be a keyword. Next we are going to see about constant. A constant are also like a normal variable but only different is their values cannot be modified by the program once they are defined. A constant or a constant are referred, uh, referred to a fixed value. A constants are divided into two types. One is numeric constant and next one is character constant. Numeric constant divided into integra, integra, uh, integer constant and real constant. Character constant divided into two types. A character constant and string constant. A string, um, string are specified by double quotes. A special characters are like parentheses, curly braces, punctuation mark like asterisk and number symbols are the uh, special symbols. Operators are classified into five types. One is arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators and assignment operators. Next we are going to see about variable. A variable is a data name that may be used to store the data value example average average is a variable name and next we are going to see about data type a data type used to uh, used to specify the what type of values we can give a, give to a variable uh, data types are divided into three types one is primary data type user defined data type and derived data type a primary data type further classified into character flow in void User defined data type classified into enum type def. Derived data type are classified into pointers, array, structures, and union. So, thank you for watching this video.